Ever get that, uh, you know that feeling when you buy something brand new, like top of the line? Oh, yeah. And you think you're good to go. No problems, all right. Totally. And then, bam, out of nowhere, it's got an issue. Oh, the worst. Turns out, even you know, those fancy high-end SUVs, they're not immune to little hiccups. Nope, they're just machines after all. Exactly. And that's exactly what we're diving into today. A recall that's got everyone talking. It's the 2025 BMW X3. Ooh, the X3. Yeah, and get this, only seven of them are actually affected. Seven, that's it. Seven. Out of, like, how many do they even make? Thousands, probably, every they, month. See, that's what I don't get. Like, why even bother with the recall for such a tiny number? Well, that's what's so fascinating about this whole thing, right? It really kind of highlights a part of car manufacturing most people don't think about. Yeah, like what? The massive web of suppliers involved. Right. I mean, even for something as, you know, seemingly simple as an airbag. It's not just BMW, right? You got sub suppliers, assembly plants, shipping, the whole nine yards. Exactly. So you're saying like one little hiccup somewhere along the line and bam, seven X3s have a problem. Precisely. We're talking brand new X3s here, like fresh off the assembly line. Okay. So walk me through it. What models are we talking about exactly? So we're looking specifically at the 2025 BMW X3 particularly the X-Drive 30 and the M50 trims. Got it. Okay. And the ones affected, they were manufactured between July 16th and August 19th of this year. 2024, yeah. All from the Spartanburg, South Carolina plant. Spartanburg. Interesting. So you're telling me, like, picture this. You're on the assembly line. Oh, yeah. Everything's humming along. These high-tech SUVs are just rolling off the line, looking all fancy. They probably look pretty sweet. And then somebody somewhere realizes... Uh-oh, we've got a fabric flaw on a tiny batch of airbags. What happens next? It's probably all hands on deck, right? Uh, uh, I imagine there's a whole chain of investigation. You know, uh, got to trace those faulty parts back through the entire supply chain. Oh, for sure. Got to figure out where things went wrong. Exactly. Probably working with the sub-supplier to get to the bottom of it. Yeah, yeah. And then comes the big question, you know, what do we do about it? Okay, but again, we're only talking about seven cars. Couldn't they just... Like, you know, replace the airbags in those seven and call it a day? Why go through the whole, you know, full-blown recall? Remember what we were saying earlier about strategic thinking? Oh, yeah. Even a small number of faulty cars, especially if it gets out, you know, yeah. can do some serious damage to a brand's image. Especially for a brand new model like this 2025 X3. Exactly. They don't want anything to tarnish that shiny new car smell. So BMW is basically playing it safe protecting their reputation. A hundred percent. You know, they're showing they're proactive, that they're committed to safety. And probably uh, maybe trying to head off any potential legal issues down the road, you know, before they even start. It's a classic case of better safe than sorry, but you know, on a massive scale. True, true. But that does put potential buyers, you know, people thinking about getting one of these X3s in a bit of a tough spot. Oh, absolutely. I mean, how do you even process that? Right. Do you feel more reassured, like, wow, BMW is really on top of things, catching these problems early? Yeah. Or you're kind of sitting there thinking, wait, even their brand new cars have these kinds of problems. It's a totally fair question. And then you have to wonder, like, how often does this kind of thing happen? Yeah. And are other car makers, you know, are they being just as proactive? Right. It makes you think. It really does. Okay. So let's say you bought one of these X3s. What happens next? Well, BMW is sending out recall notices around December 9th. Okay. And they are going to be working directly with owners to get those airbags replaced. No charge, of course. That's good. At least they're taking care of it. Oh, yeah, absolutely. They got to. Now, let's talk about VINs for a second. Ah, yes, the VIN. Because not everyone's, you know, a car expert. Mm -hmm. They might not know what a VIN is or why it matters. Right, right. It's kind of like a car's fingerprint. Okay, I like that. Each one is totally unique. It tells you all sorts of things about the car, like its history, where it was made, all that jazz. And when. And when, exactly. So for these 2025 X3s, if your VIN starts with a 5, that means it was made during that specific time frame. The July to August window. Exactly. So it could have one of those faulty airbags. But the good news is owners can easily check their VIN on BMW's website. All right, so little detective work might be in order. Check those VINs, folks. Okay, so back to this whole airbag fabric issue. Can you walk us through that a bit more? Like, how does fabric even get damaged in transport? You'd be surprised, you know, how complicated it is to get those airbag modules from the sub-supplier to the actual assembly plant. Oh, I bet. 
so many moving pieces. Seriously, it's like a giant game of telephone, but with car parts. And even a teeny tiny error can have huge consequences. Wow. So even something that seems like a minor flaw can trigger this, like yeah. large scale action in the whole car industry. Exactly. And that's what makes it so interesting, right? It does. It makes you appreciate the whole complexity of modern cars. Yeah. Like one small thing goes wrong. Ripple effect. Total ripple effect. It's crazy. This recall is like a perfect example. It really opens up a whole can of worms about, you know, safety and manufacturing and reputation, the whole thing. It's all connected. Big time. And that's why we love these deep dives. There's always something new to uncover. Always. So for all you 2025 X3 owners out there, especially those with the X-Trite 30 and M50 trims, double check those VINs. Seriously, do it. And for everyone else, keep those wheels turning. Stay curious. Right. Always more to learn. Couldn't have said it better myself. That's all the time we have for today. Until next time. See ya.